Hey guys, very quickly, this is our lesson 12. And in lesson 12, we're going to be looking at the muscles of the forearm, the posterior compartment. But which of the posterior compartments? The deep posterior compartment muscles of the forearm. That's what we're going to be looking at. We have looked at we have looked at everything about the muscles of the I've been looking at the muscles of the upper limb, right? We have looked at all that that's to do with muscles, muscles of the what the back as it relates to the upper limb. We have looked at muscles of the pectoral region. We have looked at muscles of the shoulder region, right? Also around the shoulder regions. We have looked at muscles of the what arm, anterior compartment, and posterior compartment. We have looked at muscles of the what forearm, anterior compartment. Under anterior compartment, we looked at the superficial anterior compartment, right? PF, PFF, and then the deep anterior compartment. Now we have looked at the muscles of the what superficial posterior compartment. What I'm going to look at now the deep posterior compartment muscles of the what forearm. Does it make sense? So if you are ready with me, let's go. The question is, how many muscles do we have in the deep posterior compartment of the forearm? There are five of them. How many? Five. Hold on a bit. A complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all. They are available in the LearnLift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type LearnLift, right? And then download the app and you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. Number one is called extensor pollicis longus. Of course, it will be an extensor muscle, right? Yeah, all of them will be extensor muscles majorly. Extensor pollicis longus. But from the name, pollicis, something should jump into you. Pollicis has to do with what? Thumb, right? Extensor pollicis longus. So it will help to extend the what? The thumb. And that muscle is short or it is long? Long. The next is your extensor pollicis brevis. Pollicis has to do with thumb. Brevis means short, right? Yeah. And then we have another that is called your adductor pollicis longus. Now come. Pollicis has to do with thumb, right? And this guy is an abductor muscle. You don't even need to think it twice. In that's right, that's to do with tongue. It should be an abductor muscle. Yeah, bro. Now, you already did. You think about it. <laughs> this is your tongue, right? Abductor. Abduct away from the midline of the body, bro. Now, abductor policies longus. That's what you have there. If you watch all the first three, all of them are centered around the tongue. Tongue. Policies. Extensor policies longus. Extensor policies brevis. Abductor policies longus. And you should know what all of them are going to do directly from here. And the next, right, which is your number four, is your what? Extensor indices. Ah, yeah. The indices here is talking about the index finger. Of course, here's your index finger. This is your what? Your index finger. Come, come, come. This guy here is your thumb. Thumbs up. That's your thumb, baby. That's why the one we call policies. This is your indices. Index finger. Bro, what about this one? This one is the middle finger, right? Middle finger, you know the. You know the middle finger. This is the what? Mid... <laughs> I'm gonna take that part out. This is the left middle finger. This one, if they propose to you, will you be the egg in my egg grew or the water in my way? You don't be smiling. Oh, they do not put the ring here. This is the what? Ring finger. And this is the little right <laughs> little finger. Does it make sense now? Once you go, go on the five of them for me. Your your policies, right? Or your tongue. Indices or the index finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Little finger. So your extensor indices. What will you go and extend? It will extend the index finger. That's it. And then the last there is your supinator muscle. Supinator muscle. From the name, will it pronate or it will supinate? It will supinate. Now, just reason it. Supinator muscle. Just imagine that you are to carry a cup of water and do it like in the palm of your hand. You are to hold it, put the water in the palm of your hand. Which muscle is enabling you to do that? That's the supinator muscle. It's different from your pronator muscle. So, pronator muscle and supinator muscle. They are antagonistic of each other. Are you getting it? In the pronator muscles, we have your pronator teres and your pronator quadratus. These are the two. But this guy now that is supinator muscle, it is where? It is in the deep posterior compartment of the forearm. Does it make sense? If you get that very fast with me, let's look at all of them one after the other. Now, 
from this diagram here, what can we analyze? You can see your supinator muscle, right? So this here is your supinator what muscle. Aside the supinator muscle, you can see your adductor pollicis what longus pollicis thumb, extensor pollicis brevis, extensor pollicis longus, and then your what your extensor what indices. Does it make sense? If you get that very quickly with me, let's look at all of them one after the other. The first is the extensor pollicis longus. From the name extensor, it will help in the extension, right? It will help for extension pollicis. Thumb, longus, it is a long muscle. So, what will the extensor pollicis longus go and do? It will help in the extension of the what of the thumb. And if you watch the extensor pollicis longus as it rolls down, it go and anchor itself in the way in the distal what phalanx. Simple. The next quickly is your extensor pollicis brevis. The difference between longus and brevis is that brevis is short. But extensor pollicis brevis and extensor pollicis longus will carry out the same function. Just that one is long, that one is all short, period. Then the third is your what? Your adductor pollicis longus. Now come. From the name adductor, it will move the thumb away from the midline of the body. You see a long muscle, or it is a short muscle, it is a long muscle. Adductor pollicis, thumb, longus, long muscle. That's all. And then number four is the one we call your extensor indices. Extensor indices. Index finger. It will help in the extension of the word index finger. Extensor indices. And then number five, which is the last, is the supinator word muscle. That's the one that will help you for your what your supination. Not pronation, but what? Supination. Does it make sense? If you get this very quickly with me, and you are sure you know it, Measure all the five muscles in the deep posterior compartment of the forearm for me. The first theory, they are policies. So the first is your what? Your extensor policies longus. The second is your what? Your extensor policies what? Brebis policies. Then your third is your what? A doctor policies what? Longus. Right? Yeah. And then what is the fourth? The fourth is your what? Extensor indices. And the last but not the least, which is number five, is your what? Supinator muscles. If you got this very quickly and you understand it, get out it too much. Get out, you know, I say get out it too much. Yeah, let's go to bass question, guys. Question time. Answer all these questions correctly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The question 28 all the way say, which of the following muscle is responsible for extending the thumb? Extending the thumb. Extensor tongue policies. Either longus or brevis. Get out. See it now. Option A very quickly say a doctor policies longus. No, that's not it. Option B says extensor policies brevis. This guy has the power to do that. Option C says flexor capi ulnaris. Ha ha ha. They play. Option D says supinator. It is not the supinator muscle. What is the answer? Extensor policies brevis. Option what? B is the answer. Period. Very quickly, when it comes to creating accounts, how do you create an account very easy? Let me give you the steps. First and foremost, you see create account and login. You only log in, right, when you already have an account. Since you don't have an account, create, click on create account. When you get there, put in your phone number. Put in your phone number. After putting in your phone number, you click on continue, right? Your first name, of course, you put in your first name there. If your first name is James, you put in James as your first name. Your last name, if your last name is Victor, you put in what? Victor as your last name. Then you come to email address, right? Put in your email address there very quickly. James112 at gmail.com at gmail.com Then your password, right? Oh yes, those of you that like, if you want to use your name, your password can just be like six digits, right? Oh yes. So, let me say James 12. James 12 as the password, right? Fill everything accurately and correctly. James 12. Don't jump any stage. If not, your account is not going to open for you. Select education. Under select education, of course, university. You click university. Leave secondary, primary. Leave the others. Click university or tertiary. Click it. Come to select level. Under select level, you go and select your level. If it's 100 level, 200 level, of course, all these are the university classes. Click on 200 level and click on create account. Once you click on create account, what will happen? 
your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class easy and direct so you see it this is how you create your account and then from here you can see that you have your anatomy here your upper limb your lower limb separately embryology histology systemic anatomy those ones are for nursing your cvs cardiovascular system your blood physiology excitable tissues systemic physiology intro to biochemistry your bio molecules bcm for nursing nursing psychology you have access to every single latin in the app now let me see what is in the app let's say for example upper limb you click on the upper limb right you can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you overview of the upper limb pectoral region arm region fork arm hand all of them part by part when i click on the overview of the upper limb of course i'll just match it straight to my class parts of the upper limb one part of the upper limb two bone of bones of the upper limb joints of the upper limb muscles you see all your classes are there for you right okay let me say i want to start now and then i want to watch joints of the upper limb all you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch joints of the upper limb and what will happen your class will load and your classes will start playing for you immediately so you see you may choose to say okay i want to rotate it right oh yes rotate it and you start following your classes immediately easy and direct you may choose to say okay you want to forward you want to pause you want to back and um, back forward anyone you want to do and you take it forward and what happened you can see all of them very very easy and the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class are you with me so that's for that and you may choose to go back and then go to the notes section of the app oh yes when you get to the notes section of the app of course the notes are there mm -hmm. well organized and arranged for you and you can zoom in and then start following back to back and you are following you may even choose to go and start answering questions questions are there for you and there are answers you start um following through every singular facet of it and you are learning on your own and there is CPT in the app as well for you a lot of other aspects that you can follow up all of this in the learn lift app same way you have for anatomy that's how you have for physiology that's how you have for biochemistry are you getting it now for the now bye bye look at question 29 very quickly let's go let's go let's go the question says which muscle is located in the deep posterior compartment of the forearm that assists in the extension of the index finger extensor indices oh yeah you don't need to go far from the name extensor indices index finger option this is extensor policy brevis option b say supinator option c say extensor indices option d say extensor digitorum profundus what is the answer extensor indices option c is the answer hey. all these things are they not simple from the name understand the meaning of the name then you will know what they do exactly do you understand if you get this very quickly with me bro guess what i'll see you in the next class and that'll be our lesson 13. ah we're going to be looking at something mind-blowing in lesson 13 and that is going to be nerves of the words upper limb in the next class bro i can't wait to see you there and hug you but please i beg you go to my notes now as i see you go to the notes please in that note there are questions in the muscles of the upper limb go and answer all those questions mark yourself to the correction before you come to nerve go and answer those questions first when you are done with the notes please always practice cbt and um, most importantly right make up your mind it will not take anything from you nobody they carry it first are you getting it now make up your mind you fight a friend tell somebody about the learn lift app tell a friend tell a colleague man i'm learning from this app and tell the person to come and learn with you i'll see you in the next class feel free to always reach out to ross you can reach out to ross 247 any time of the day we day for you i'll see you in the next class for the now bye bye hope you've enjoyed this class guess what to follow up for more classes just download the learn lift app whether on play store or app store and then follow up your classes you must do extremely well i'll see you in class bye bye